What is going on everybody? It is your host Swizzy coming at you guys with three ways to improve your accuracy in Call of Duty. I know I'm playing Black Ops 3, but I think these tips will help you in any Call of Duty that you're playing and improve your accuracy in the long run. So my very first tip to improving your accuracy is that you go to your sensitivity and jack that mother sucker up to 100. And as you guys can see, it's going to suck for the first 5 to 10 minutes. You're not going to be able to hit a thing, but you're going to realize after doing this for 5 to 10 minutes and you go back to your regular sensitivity, your accuracy greatly improves. You feel like a slug, but that means you can control your accuracy a lot more. It's more, I don't know, you guys are going to see in this, when you go from a very super high sensitivity like you see here to a super low sensitivity or not a super low sensitivity, just whatever sensitivity you're playing on, it's going to feel a lot better and make you feel more in control of your gun. My second tip is, is when you see an enemy long range, if you're using a submachine gun or assault rifle, burst fire your weapons. And then you guys are going to see, if you guys ever play comp or anything, that when you come in long range shots, you always burst. So you'd always just put like three to four shots in and then you just keep competitively doing that three to four shots, three to four shots like an M16 or something. And you're going to see that it really doesn't jump at all and you can actually hit somebody across the whole map with a submachine gun. But the really the most useful way to use this method is when it comes to comp, you want to put bullets into players. So if you see someone across the map, you just want to put a couple bullets into him. And if you have a closer teammate to that enemy, you just tell him he's hurt, he's easy kill, he just comes up and finishes kills, and then boom, you're up in numbers like that. Tip number three is do not use grip on your weapons. I know this is on how to improve your accuracy. You're like, oh, the grip makes your accuracy better, but do not use a grip. It will make you lazy when it comes to firing weapons. I've always never used grip in any of the Call of Duties, especially this Call of Duty. I have over 180,000 kills, and I did not use grip for one of those. And people ask why my son machine gun is so good accuracy and all that blah, blah, blah. And it's just saying that you just don't use grip. You get used to it. You tame the beast. And you just work with it and you it really saves you a pick slot when it comes to this pick 10 system that they keep implementing in all these call of duties you don't actually have to put a grip on you can maybe put a grenade or something on there but do not use grip and master a gun without grip so I'm just gonna do a little speed round of a bunch of tips that if you don't know now you know already so the best button layout I think personally to play on is tactical and that just was back in Call of Duty is make it a lot easier to drop shot etc etc and if you see anything close range always hit fire you never want to aim in when someone's literally right on you just hit fire it's a much easier way to get the kill to chain your kills and it's just an easy way to pretty much get a close quarter kill and pretty much that's that's really it I don't know I can't really tell you how to play this game it's really just about grinding and putting more hours but I know these tips will help you out in the long run I really hope you guys can enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you did. And until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See ya.